So nothing was spoken about. No. And nothing was nothing occurred nope. from her point of view that you've either of you that you're still together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you have four children. Oh, we have I four met children Connor. Then, yeah, just yeah, celebrated just, thirty years. Okay. Yeah. So nothing is set now. Did did when when she came to you was that reaffirming of what you already had thought when you went up to the sixteenth floor and turned the lights on? That is when I knew it was truly from God, because God had independently confirmed his calling in both of our hearts separately against both of our wills. So what's the next move? Uh, The next move is I applied to seminaries and we left everything and ended up moving to Philadelphia, renting a rundown apartment where Kathy started working full time. Oh, I forgot to say she was four months pregnant pregnant at this point as well. Was this your first child Mm -hmm. and their name? Uh, This was Taylor. Wow. And so she, uh, the plan was that she Taylor. was, mm-hmm. right. Taylor's, yep. And the plan was that she was going to be a stay at home mom and I was going to work, made plenty of money. And she originally the plan was that that was the plan. And then God radically changed that. And, and I have to give Kathy credit because she gave everything up to follow the calling. And we moved to Philadelphia, uh, run down apartment bar across the street. I remember reading this in The Real Cost of Following Jesus. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's all in there. And uh, I started working. Uh, I started school full-time. I started working nights as a security guard, and Kathy started teaching in a Christian school all day long, four months pregnant. When you were in college and you met Kathy, what was her dreams and aspirations and, 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 and motivation at that time prior to you had met, you guys had met? Um, well, I, I would say that it like, was— What was her degree going to be in, I guess— it, well, I, she's wanted to be a teacher, mm. right? And so she's been a teacher for uh, probably almost almost 30 years now. So uh, even early on, um, she had started teaching. Now, she's still a teacher. It, w- it wasn't so much about not wanting to be a teacher. It was more about not wanting to be a pastor's wife. Wow. And uh, she was saved at a very young age, grew up in the church. So obviously. Was it, is it, was it difficult uh, environment because not all places in the world are created equal. Not all countries are created equal. Not all businesses are created. We could have a great in- a conversation today and I could go oh, yeah. to another real estate company and sit in and maybe have a completely different culture. Absolutely. So, so being a pastor is a very unique role, um, you know, for a variety of reasons. Uh, it's a very challenging role for a variety of reasons. And uh, being a pastor's wife in general is just a uniquely challenging role. 